What's up, YouTube? This is uh, Cam here. I'm doing a quick uh, little run through of my favorite uh, vinyl albums. Um, these are either uh, my favorites, I guess, or sort of rare, rare birds, rare finds. We'll start with uh, October Tide. This is Rain Without End. Um, released a couple years ago on vinyl. It's probably my favorite album by October Tide. Um, they were sort of Jonas Rents from uh, Catatonia's uh, project after they broke up briefly. Um, definitely, you should definitely check them out. Morbid Angel, Gateways to Annihilation. Not their best album, but definitely a rare album, nonetheless. Alright, we have uh, probably Morbid Angel's most famous album. Uh, Altars of Madness, very cool. This is the original release. Awesome. We have uh, Domination by Morbid Angel, one of their sort of comeback albums, I guess. This is still sealed, so... Very cool. Definitely rare. So we have Amorphous. This is Silent Waters. This is one of my favorite albums by the band. They kind of hit their stride with this one. Um, this is, I think, in red vinyl too. But awesome, awesome album. Uh, nothing too special, but just an Anthrax uh, picture disc of uh, Persistence of Time. Kind of ugly cover, but, you know, picture discs are neat. One of my pride and joys of my collection, uh, Edge of Sanity's Crimson 1 and 2. Big shout out to uh, Patrick Lemons for getting this from me. My birthday. There we go. And let's see, we I got a whole bunch of stuff by death. Um, this is really cool too. This is uh, Sign of Perseverance, one of their best albums. Huge, 180 gram, I believe. This is Human. Very cool. Um, all these uh, Death albums, too, are blood splattered vinyl. I think clear. Awesome. Let's see. Spiritual Healing. Scream Bloody Gore, which I've yet to open. It's not my favorite Death album, but um, probably my favorite cover. Crimson Glory is uh, Transcendence. This is pretty neat. This was, this was really rare on CD for a while. I'm not sure if it's still rare, but um, pretty cool album. Really cool cover. Some weird shit on the back. This is cool. Uh, it doesn't really fit in with most, but I'm a big grunge fan, so Candlebox found this. And as a bonus, it has their second album, Lucy, on the back, which I never listened to. We got Foo Fighters, their debut album. I guess it's Dave Grohl on this album, but this is awesome. Really cool album. Um, Fate's Warning, No Exit. I'm not a humongous Fate's Warning fan, but you know, you don't see these every day on vinyl, so I had to buy that. And now we're getting to my Opeth collection. Um, I have a bunch of stuff. I think I have everything but Still Life by Opeth on vinyl. This is uh, Damnation. This sounds unbelievable, by the way, on vinyl. Not all records are created equal, as I'll explain to you in a little bit, but this, is, this sounds unbelievable. Blackwater Park, also from the same uh, re-release series of Opeth. This is on, uh, well, maybe it is, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. I think, I thought Back on Black did it, maybe not. Alright, so let's move on. More Opeth. This is Morning Rise, one of my favorites by Opeth. My Arms Rehearse. These are all re-releases, by the way. We have Orchid. We have the more recent uh, Watershed, which isn't my favorite album by them, but uh, and they actually didn't do a very good job with the, with the I guess Nuclear Blast or not Nuclear Blast Roadrunner released this and they didn't do a very good job on the mastering of the vinyl. You have to master vinyl differently than just a CD. Um, so it doesn't sound that good. And then these are my Opeth picture discs. Um, picture discs, they do not, they are not really meant to be played, believe it or not. They look cool. You know, but uh, they don't sound very good. It's just uh, sort of the drawback of having a I think the material, the vinyl they use for these. Um, I got all their early albums on picture disc. 
Ghost Reverie is my favorite Opeth album. But once again, this one doesn't sound that good. Um, just they didn't do a very good job mastering it for vinyl. Uh, Deliverance. And I, I Damnation. I, I think I have two copies of this somehow. One's, this might be still be sealed. I don't know. Alright. Uh, Pearl Jam. 10. My favorite Pearl Jam album. This is a really good album. Um, unfortunately, also didn't sound that great. Enter the Wu-Tang. You know, gotta get that Wu-Tang going. Yep. This is pretty rare. Um, this is a Tool picture disc, sort of single, off of, uh, it has some stuff from a bunch of albums, but um, this, I think, was when a Anima came out, but uh, kind of a rare thing. Um, this is one of my favorite bands, Swallow the Sun, from, uh, I'm going to probably say the wrong place, but I believe they're Finnish. Um, they're awesome. Kind of doom, modern doom stuff, but uh, check them out. Very awesome album. Then we got Sentenced. Frozen, probably my favorite album by Sentence. Um, sounds a lot like Poison Black, which I think is our singer's current band. Um, this is on... God, got the noose. This is on... Ice Vinyl, as it says. Rhapsody Picture Disc. This is probably the coolest picture disc I have. Also... Given to me by Patrick Lemons. Um, it's unplayable, but because of the picture disc, but it's crazy. Very cool. Nine Inch Nails, Downward Spiral, Original Pressing on vinyl, uh, Necrophagist, uh, on set of Putrefaction, or Putrefaxing, excuse me. Um, this is an awesome album. Their first album. Which I think is basically just a drum machine, um, a, a well-programmed drum machine, or and uh, Muhammad uh, Sukhmez or whatever. Very cool. Um, this is Muse, um, their best album. Uh, I have to look at it. Absolution, that's right. Um, vinyl. Thanks, Patrick Lemons. He's giving me all my coolest vinyls. He knows me better than I know my own taste. This is cool. Metallica, Creeping Death. Single, just kind of a cool thing to have on uh, Music for Nations. Metallica Ride the Lightning picture disc, also not really playable. Sorry about the glare, but that's kind of cool. Megadeth Rest in Peace, their best album, arguably. Look at those dudes on the back. And finally, um, this is Catatonia. It's a great cold distance. Um, incredible album. Love Catatonia. Has some bonus tracks that were uh, previously unavailable. Um, so I'd have to listen to this. And this is a limited edition of whatever. But, uh, but yeah, this is uh, just, I just sort of picked out my favorite uh, items here. Um, maybe I'll do more later on. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it.